Hi YouTubers, it's Mark from Hovland Brewery and um, quick homebrew Wednesday. So today I'm actually doing a stovetop beer. I'm not using the brewery. I'm not going to show you the whole lot, there's no point. But I'm just making me Dead Pony Club clone, which isn't really a Dead Pony Club clone, but it's just similar. I use the hops. Now this time I'm doing the extract version because to be honest I can't be asked to do an all grain and I find the extract version is as good as the all grain one and it's easier and quicker. So we're still doing the um, one hour boil of the hops so the hop schedule is exactly the same as the all grain. I've got some uh, grains being steeped so I'll show you what the ingredients are. So I've been to a home brew shop and got some Muntins extract. It's Marsh Otter Light. So a bit different. Two of them, you know, 3.3 .3 pounds or three kilograms. Recipe says for uh, where is it? It is three kg. So we're going to add some hops. We've got some six grams of citra and six grams of Simcoe. That's at 60 minutes. Then uh, at 30 minutes we add another six grams of each one. Okay. And uh, there's no flame out additions and then it's going to use your so five and some dry upping. So um, I've got the grains just steeping here nicely. It's actually not time though, I'm just realised. Um, I've got some water on the boil here, just heating up. And we've got some oh steamed you up. And we've got oh some eggs for dinner. Ha! Yeah. Boiling some eggs. Right, well that's it. Won't film much more until the end when I stick it all together. So we've had a, an hour boil with the hops. Uh, these have actually been steeping for an hour. Um, so I've just thrown them in here. I've actually sparged them, but basically just some uh, hot water. Um, just to get all that lovely goodness out of the biscuit. And uh, whatever the other grain was, got what it was now. Uh, yeah, I know. What is it? Crystal. Some crystal uh, hop. Hop malt. Okay, so that's sort of running clear now. So uh, I'm happy with that. I'll uh, just let this finish off. Uh, I've still got the gas on, still uh, just heating it up. I'm going to probably give it a five minute boil, I think, or something like that. And then I shall uh, cool it down and stick it in the fermenter. You saw me obviously draining and sparging the. Uh, Specialty grains, I've actually put the extract into here, so there's two tins of extract gone in, um, total of three kilograms, um, I'm just going to cool it down, I'm cool it down with a bit of water, but, uh, and then it'll go in the fermenter, so, uh, well, that is next, eventually, finally. And I've just sprinkled on USO5, okay, so we can set this in the fermentation fridge. It's slightly high on temperature, but I know it will drop pretty quick when it gets in the fridge. Right, that's definitely on. Right, I'll get that in the fermentation fridge over there. And, uh, oh, I measured it. It came out at 10.42 on my hydrometer. Okay, 10.42. But my refractometer to, to 10.39, so I'm not quite sure to believe. I have thought my, fr my refractometer is out. Now, you're meant to calibrate them. Just uh, okay. You want me to calibrate them? There's a, a button, and I admit I've not calibrated mine. Have you calibrated yours? How do you know it's right? I guess I should use uh, some water, distilled water, and stick it on. I guess I better read the instructions, eh? <laughs> yeah, uh, I've actually suspected my beers are slightly stronger than they were because you know you have a pint of like 3.8, and you, you're thinking. Hmm, a bit squiffy. So yeah, I need to calibrate this. As I suspect most of you people out there have never calibrated it. You assume it's right. Right, I'll get that in the beer fridge and do a summary. Quick summary of today. It's no a stovetop or hob beer day, isn't it? So what can really go wrong? I tell you what can go wrong. That thing bloody can. Hey? Eh? Turned it on, it was working last uh, week, last Sunday when I brewed. 
so it's 14 degrees so I put it in some wort and it went minus 24 what so that's got a bit wonky I suspect it might be the batteries so I had to bring out the dried and trusted never used before one of them I see other people use these I just it's a backup yeah it's reading 14.4 one was rather says 16.5, not quite sure which is right. They're probably all a bit wrong. I've got a, I say a mercury one, but the alcohol fell, don't they, these days? So I need to fix that, or at least change the batteries. So uh, other than that, it was a great brew day, and uh, got uh, seven days in the fermenter. I might actually do it to five days, and then I'm going to dry hop it with a shed full of hops. I think there's about 200 grams I think eventually maybe 150 I did cut down the hop schedule slightly on the the, the dry hopping because I didn't think you could really taste a difference and and I don't think still don't I start getting that bit I still don't think you can tell that I've reduced the hops for the dry hop right well that's it okay so brew day over happy hungry Wednesday everyone this is Mark from Hoverdog signing off and as always stay thirsty <laughs>